I mean, why don't we jump straight in? I mean, it, the, the, the women's category being added to Rampage has been a long time coming. You've been, I think, part of some of those formations and whatever those events are called, like getting more free ride events out there, getting these sort of series where people can sort of make a name for themselves. But, I mean, props to props to Rampage, props to the women. I, I, I really enjoyed that, seeing what, they were able to carve down that mountain, like super unique. And that was a untouched zone from what I could understand, especially on the women's. Like that hadn't been ridden by anyone. Yeah. Unless it was that, like locals, I guess. For sure. I think that part is important uh, for the women in their first year to be riding a zone that didn't have any recommended routes. There was no revisiting of something that was proven to work. And I think that's the way it has to be. That was the original ethos of the event. And so for the women now, man, 23 years later to be starting up right where the men did when they were experimenting, but with all the knowledge and techniques of, you know, the past 23 years of learning in the men's side and learning for all the women who go out there and shoot video parts, they bit off a lot. It just, as always, Everything looks so much easier on the screen. But my first day walking their venue, I was like, all right, nobody's really phoning it in. And a lot of the stuff that looked easier on screen was steeper when you're actually walking it. And some of the, the drops were just as big as some of the heavy hitting drops on the men's side. The one that Cami and Chelsea set up specifically was 51 feet point to point, like real deal. That's a number that is right in there on the men's venue as, as some of the big hits. We did a lot of measuring this year. In the past, we've been hung up on, you know, really wanting to know what the vertical is, what the horizontal is. But we're like, all right, we have just one continuous standard common denominator dimension. It's just takeoff to landing. And so by using that dimension and looking at that 51 number, we're like, yeah, that's right up as big as the men in some cases. And when Cami guinea that feature, she, her tire track went to the 75 foot mark. So they're going big. And um, I think it was a, a real big success. You think back a few years ago and Casey Brown, she was like, well, there is no women's category. So whatever, I'll just try to get into the men's. And she was submitting videos and applications just like the men do for consideration. And I, I am on the, selection committee. So I remember that year and, you know, we just rank her exactly where we would no bias, not taking into consideration, male, female, whatever. And she didn't get an invite, but you know, she was just trying to get in regardless. She did compete in that year. There was a qualification event uh, here in Oregon called proving grounds. She did compete in that. And she was trying to just get in um, by just charging hard. So the fact that now there's an, a deep enough field who all were aiming at that same target to have a field of eight invited and only one, unfortunately not start Cami. She had that crazy crash in practice, but yeah, a field of seven drop in and with Robin winning, I think she's also a really good ambassador. Anybody around the world who gets their first impression of, you know, women's rampage looking at Robin, you're like, all right, she dropped into some steep stuff. She did a backflip. She hit a big point to point, you know, step down drop and, you know, she's so good on care on camera. She's a great character. And her story is like genuinely legit an amazing story. Five years in the New Zealand army, and a passion for bike riding going like, ah, you know what? I'm going to give this thing a shot. She was the first one to win women's slope style competition at Crankworks. Now she won Rampage. And yeah, I hope it gets a lot of attention. And in the next few years, if this keeps going at this pace, we'll have some heroes in the women's category that, the, the general fan knows and follows just like it is in the men's category now after 18 years of events.